Hey everybody, welcome to my channel, Chatting with Chops. I thought it would be fun today to see if we could make some mini cheesecakes. I have a family member that would like some, so I'm gonna give them a try. Don't know how they're gonna turn out because I've never used this recipe before, but we'll try them out and see how it works. Let's get started. So we're gonna start making our little mini cheesecakes. And the first thing we need to do is get our crust started. So what I'm gonna do first is make a noise. First thing I'm gonna do is crumble up my graham crackers. And you can do this separately in a like plastic bag and just take a mallet or your hand or whatever you wanna do um, and break them up that way. I'm gonna use a food processor because I have one. And we're just gonna blend those up until they're a nice, fine little dust. All right, so that was about 18 graham crackers. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour in our, so we're gonna take our fourth of a cup of sugar and pour it into the top. And we're going to put our one teaspoon of ground cinnamon in. And my family loves cinnamon, so I'm probably going to put a little extra in there. Got that in there. Okay, and then we're going to pulse that up real good. Get it mixed in. Ooh, that smells good. And the last thing we need to do is add in our four tablespoons of melted butter. Can y'all see that? I'm trying to make sure y'all can see the side of my food processor. Okay, and we're going to pour that in, and then we're just going to pulse until that's mixed in really well. Okay. Mm, that smells so good. The next thing we want to do is go ahead and get our oven preheated to 350 degrees while we're doing this. What we want to do is get our graham cracker mix into our little muffin tin. And I'm using little mini muffin tins because I want to make many, many cheesecakes. So I've got my little paper into my little muffin tin. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a little scoop and put it in here and again I don't really know how much it's gonna take so I don't want it to be so much graham cracker that you don't get any cheesecake so you can see I'm doing kind of a half a teaspoon full and then what I'm gonna do is since there's a little bit of butter in here I want to pack my crust down just a little bit and so I've got several little things to try but I've got this little container that's got a little lid on it and I'm gonna try and see if I can use it oh that's working out good so just find you a little something that will fit down in your little muffin tin paper that you can kind of pat down your crust in. And whatever you use, make sure you've washed it and it's good and clean. And again, right now I'm just kind of eyeballing it a little bit. So and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these in my oven for 350 degrees and I'm gonna start out with about eight minutes and just make sure that everything is in there. We want to be able to start to smell that the graham cracker is cooking and it has a little bit of a, a coloring to it and that'll let us know that it's done. So I just thought I'd bring y'all back for just a second and show you. I'm adding a little bit more butter to my graham cracker mix. When I was starting to put everything into the little muffin tins, I noticed that my graham cracker mix just seemed really dry. And I was concerned that it might not firm up really well when I cook it. So I decided to add a little bit more butter. And that looks much better. See how I'm starting to get some like nice little clumps? That's kind of what I was looking for was some, I mean, I know clumps is a terrible word, but looking for the graham crackers to kind of start sticking together a little bit from the butter. So that was what I was looking for. So that's much better. I like that much better. And so we're going to do some regular size uh cheesecakes too, the little mini cheesecakes, but we're using just a regular, um, just a regular muffin container this time. And then I've got my little Christmassy paper. Okay. And we'll probably put, yeah, we're going to put one good healthy scoop in the bottom of these and see how well that does. And yes, you could measure this out perfectly, exactly how much you want to use. And if you're a more of a precise baker and that makes you happy, then I definitely recommend for you to do that. 
And then I'm just gonna use the bottom of a regular little cup for these, cause it's a little bit bigger. And it'll mash it down a little bit better. Just give it a nice little quick pat down. So now we're gonna have fun making the cream cheese part of our cheesecake. So the first thing that we've done is we have a pound of cream cheese that's kind of been sitting out for a little while to get it nice and soft. You can buy the whipped kind, that might be easier as well, but I'm just gonna put this in my mixer. Bring it over here so it makes it a little bit easier to get into. And hopefully not drop the bowl. Okay. So we've got that in there. We're gonna mix this on medium so that we can get it nice and creamy. All right, let's check and see how it's doing. Oh, that's really good. Now we're gonna mix in a fourth of a teaspoon of our salt. And we're gonna put in one cup of our granulated sugar. And now we're gonna mix that again and make sure that everything is nice and creamy. All right, now I'm gonna just Scrape down the sides a little bit, make sure that everything is mixed in. That is just gorgeous. And right now would be a good time to be preheating your oven to 350 degrees. A third of a cup of sour cream, and I'm just using my little plunger measuring cup. Which I'm gonna move this out of the way just so I don't end up getting sour cream over the top of my mixer. And then I'm just gonna take sure I got all of that. I love these little plunger measuring cups. They seem to really work well with any of this kind of what I call ooey gooey measuring that you need to do. But I mean, you can use it for anything. It's got all kinds of measures on the side of it. So you could use it for anything you needed. Here, and we need one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And as always, I'm using vanilla bean paste. It's just what I enjoy using more. And then we're gonna let that mix up real well. All right, I'm gonna put this on low so you can still hear me, but now we're gonna start adding our room temperature eggs to our mixture. So I've got two whole eggs that we're gonna add in. And we just wanna mix in between. Scrape down the sides here. Oh, that is gorgeous. I'm gonna try pouring my batter because mine is just really, really soft. I'm gonna see what happens if I try doing a pour. Fill about three fourths of a cup way up the cup. So, all right, make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. Oh, that looks like that's turning out pretty good. All right, now let's see how it does with the, the little baby ones. Because you know, we did some little minis and I'm gonna do them the same way. Just fill them up about three fourths. I probably need my spoon here because I'm gonna make a mess. I'm the messy cook, but we're just gonna stick these in the oven. And again, like I said, at 350 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes, and then we're gonna let them rest. So I ended up having to do a ba basically like a water bath for my cheesecakes, because as you can see, they kind of fail, which I mean, again, that's pretty normal for cheesecakes. I did a little water bath for the bigger ones and they seem to be doing a little bit better. So I definitely recommend that. All you really do is you just fill a pan with a little bit of water and you set your cheesecake pan down in it and you just let them cook with that, which it does, they say it takes a little bit longer for them to cook. So I'm just kind of waiting for these to firm up they may not I don't know again that's the disadvantage of using a different I use a lot of different brand new recipes I've never used before 
and I have a different oven and I have different baking styles and so it can be a little bit difficult. All right, so we have our little baby cheesecake here. We're just gonna take the paper off of him and we've got our nice graham cracker crust at the bottom. And we have a little bite-sized cheesecake. Look at that, isn't that precious for the holidays? Hope you liked this video. Please like and subscribe and I will keep making interesting bakes for you. They don't always turn out. That's the fun of baking. You just have to try and see what comes out. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you on the next one.